Hi guys, we are gonna be talking about teaching textbooks. And as you may know, if you've been following my channel, you know that I really do love this program. So my name is Leilani. I am a former public and private school teacher. I did actually teach math in the Title I private schools for middle school, and now I am a homeschool mom. I've been a homeschool mom now exclusively for 10 years. I also do homeschool evaluations for the state of Florida, where I come in, do all the legal documentations for the state so that our parents can continue homeschooling. So I love teaching textbooks, and I am going to talk about how you can make teaching textbooks work for you. I'm going to provide some tips from my experience as a parent as well as some safety nets that teaching textbooks and some tools that teaching textbooks has given you to kind of help you with your kid. I get comments in my YouTube videos. I get conversations going on with parents about these things and I get lots of responses about how people love teaching textbooks. It's done wonders for them. But then there's some people that are like, I don't really know. It's not just working for me. What do you do about this? And what do you do about that? And I'm hoping in this video I can address some of those things in here to kind of clear that, clear that up for you guys to help you know that it's not just you know, your typical math app. That's not teaching textbooks, okay? Teaching textbooks has a limit on how many times that you can answer the question, and the majority of them, if not all of them, are fill in the blank. There are some true and false, but you only get one time to answer that correct or not. It's 50-50, so one time to answer that correct or, or incorrect. The fill in the blanks are challenging. They make you think. They also give you some practice problems. So if you don't know what teaching textbooks is, it is an online course that you can get and you have access to it for 12 months. So for example, you have a sixth grader that's taking sixth grade math. You purchase the course and they have 12 months to complete it. Within each of these courses, there's a set of lessons as well as tests. And as they work through the lesson, they're learning math, reviewing things from past lessons. It's great. And there is also a parent portal that you have access to as a parent. I'm gonna talk more about that because that is like, the safety net for parents. Seriously, it's awesome, awesome, awesome. One thing I really love about teaching textbooks too is that it is a very independent program. It's providing students with an opportunity to take learning into their own hands. And as a parent, we don't get to grade it. We don't have to sit there and walk them through math because I know a lot of us, there's a lot of tears for some reason. A lot of tears on both ends. <laughs> I mean, really. Honestly, I've been there, done that, okay? Yeah. And teaching textbooks kind of like, you don't get to do that too much with the tears. That's the great thing about teaching textbooks. And another thing I love about it is that teaching textbook presents a very appealing package to the kids. I mean, they've got wallpapers and buddies and they're very trendy or um, like what my middle schoolers, what is the term they use? Swag. It is so... The, the things are swag. So all of this I absolutely adore about teaching textbooks. However, we all know in reality, like kids are gonna find ways if they don't like a subject, they're gonna find ways to kind of cut corners. We know that and regardless of what math program you use, you're gonna have that problem. So what's nice about teaching textbooks is they're gonna really help you out in that area tremendously. Now one of the things that I have found when there's some criticism on the parent side when it comes to teaching textbooks, they tend to have a mindset, and I'm, I'm generalizing, there is a mindset that they can just hand over the iPad, give it to their kids, and I've seen this, here you go, have teaching textbooks, the parents forget about math, and six months later they jump on and find that their kid has only done 20 lessons and they're making a D. And then all of a sudden the parents are like, wow, this is not gonna work for me, and they just shut down and they don't do it anymore. Now that has happened. That's an extreme situation. You can't, well first of all, you just, you can't do that, all right? You need to keep tabs on your kids. There are ways that teaching textbooks is gonna help you do that. One way is that they send out daily emails to tell you you the progress of your child and they only do these daily emails when your child has completed a new lesson completely so if you can mentally keep tabs on that which you don't even have to keep mental tabs on it I mean everything's right there in the email and they have the date and the lesson and all the things right there they just it's right there 
It's like they're handing it on a platter to you. You just have to check it. Now I will say this, the parents that do find success in teaching textbooks, they all have one thing in common. They are on top of it and they keep their children accountable and they use all the features that teaching textbooks is providing for them. Across the board though, I do wanna say is when a kid does not think that they're being held accountable by an adult, by their parents specifically, they're gonna really try to find those shortcuts and those ways to cheat. And so we have to make sure as parents to be doing that I'm just gonna really stress that. So I'm gonna lay out a scenario for you that you may or may not relate to that has actually happened in our home. So my son wakes up, he does what he does, and math is usually the first thing that he, he does in the morning. He jumps on teaching textbooks, and I am fully aware of when he's jumping on teaching textbooks because I like to keep track of what my kids are doing through the day. And he starts doing his problems. Now. I may or may not, I do this very sporadically, not all the time, I might do this like once a week, once every two weeks, but I will jump onto the parent portal and watch him as he's doing each and every one of his problems. And every once in a while I'll say, great job on that problem, or hey, how are you doing? Are you stumped on a problem? If it starts to move slow. So as he goes through them, if he gets one wrong, I kind of take a mental note. When he finishes it, I will go back and if it is below a 90%, and you can establish whichever one, whichever percentage you want. I do 90, some people will do 100, but either way, if it is below a 90%, I will go through the lesson and manually start deleting the ones that he missed. And I put that to the side because I don't want him to immediately go in and fix the problem after he has just done his math. He might remember it and it's, I, I'm going to hold it for the next day. Or Monday through Thursday, I will let him build up those wrong problems so that on Friday he can go back and do all those problems that are X'd out. And I always, you know, tell him great job, you know, ask him questions about it here and there, just kind of talk about it. Doesn't take much time. I don't even need to know what he's doing or I don't even need to know the math that he's doing. I just know, need to know that he's doing it. And that parent portal that teaching textbooks has provided for the parents is so essential to, to helping keep tabs on him as a parent. Like I said, I can go in there and delete it. Now, if I feel like I want to change his answer, like sometimes he'll yell at me like, mom, I put in this answer wrong and I hit the wrong number and it marked it wrong and then I'll walk in there and I'll look at it and then I can go into teaching textbooks and change the answer if I want to. I have done that on occasion, not too much. Usually I just delete it and have him write in the new number, but you have that option. That is what is so incredibly cool. I think it's important as they work through teaching textbooks that they understand the material. And if they're not making a A or B, I don't think they're fully understanding the material. Even though teaching textbooks does work very spirally, it will come back to things from the past. And that's actually another thing that's really cool about teaching textbooks. If there's something from lesson 15 that they're doing in lesson 50, they're gonna tell you that it's from lesson 15. So if they're struggling with that concept, they can actually go back to that lesson and where it was presented in that lesson and watch it. And if it's a situation where they have to pull you, the parent in, you can reference to that previous lesson to help guide them into understanding where they're struggling with that problem. Hopefully that made sense to you guys. Now I'm going to talk about Scratchpad, which first of all is a lifesaver for those of us that do a lot of quote unquote car schooling, so to speak. Now we're in the car a lot and you know how the car is like bumpy, right? Well, writing on a piece of paper with a pencil, because I've done that. I did that when I was in school. Try to do math problems in the car and it's all over. Yeah. Okay. They have a scratch pad that you can actually open up in the program and use your finger to write out all the problems. It's wonderful and um, amazing and it's just all the things beautiful. They don't have to use a piece of paper. However, I will say there is some benefit in working with paper. I think there's a benefit to working with both. And I sometimes as a parent will go in there and kind of alternate things. Like today, I want you to provide me all your work on a piece of paper. In fact, I do have a notebook that I pull out and I will give my, it's actually graphing paper that I will give my kids to work on periodically. I like to switch it up, so to speak, so that I can see that 
that they can do it on paper as well as on scratch pad. Another thing I like to do with teaching textbooks, I know when the tests are coming. I do. I keep tabs through that parent portal, which is so easy to use. Like it's a very user friendly because I know the tests are coming. I make a big deal out of them. I really do. I make a big deal out of them. I congratulate my kids. That's just another way to just keep your kids accountable and build up their confidence as they're working through teaching textbooks. I think any time that you are doing any kind of schooling, whatever it may be, there is such an importance in supporting your kids and keeping it accountable. And you know what I really think? Because teaching textbooks does so much of the teaching for you and uh, providing the problems for you, providing grading for you, making it a fun, trendy, swag platform. I think I'm using that word correctly. Now you, the parent, have more time and energy to pour into them the encouragement and the support and just all those other things that you would not have time to do. I, I love teaching textbooks. It's a wonderful platform. If you want to see some of my other videos on it, I'm going to put it up in the description box below. I actually have a video where I go into detail on how teaching textbooks actually I give you some examples on how it has actually propelled grades, grade levels within the academic structure, okay? So I'm going to put those down here and up here and all the things. So thank you guys so much. Now if you're interested in trying out teaching textbooks, I'm going to go ahead and stick a link down in my description box below that you can check out, sign up, try it out, do a trial, see if it will really work for you. It, it's an amazing program. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this has been great information for you guys. Until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye.